So, when you move off, what have we deliberately missed out so far? Because there's a, one important thing, or two important things we deliberately haven't done. Something I've been doing for you, but I haven't got you to do it yourself. I don't know. So, is that looking around? Because you must look around quite a few places before you move off. So, the minimum observations you must do, <laughs> the way to remember this, by the way, mm -hmm. is the acronym POSH, which is pedals, observe, signal, and then handbrake. What signal? The sooner you sooner right if you need to tell anyone you're going to go. So at the moment, there's no one would really care, apart from that man maybe on the right. But if anyone would benefit from the signal, you put a signal on. If no one's around to see, you don't need to. So normally what I do is, if you remember posh, you do pedals, observe, signal, and then handbrake. So when you look, you must look at the minimum. You can do more, but the minimum is you look in the middle mirror, see what's behind you. At the moment, I think you look in the right mirror, see so what's overtaking, if anything. At the moment, nothing there. And the other place is your blind spot. Do you know where that is? After the dotted line. Yeah. Where else is there? So where that is, it's supposed to sort of show you that, but where actually is the blind spot? Don't there are a few of them actually. But I'm not sure. So the main one is on the right there. See where it says number eight six over there in that arch right. Well, the black garage. Anywhere yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah. So that whole area is your blind spot. You can't see that in the mirror, and if you can, then your mirror's set wrong because that means you can't see the no, rest I of the can't, area. No. No, so, the right mirror there, you, could, you can see a bit of it maybe in the right mirror, but you definitely can't see the back garage. No, I can't Some see. people try to have the mirror set so you can see the blind spot, that is incorrect because then you can't see, you create another blind spot closer yeah, to your car. Yeah, behind Yep. So, the minimum is middle mirror, right mirror, right blind spot, and then you would indicate. You wouldn't indicate now because that car's behind you, so if you indicate like now, that car might break when the way you're doing. So if you indicate, you've got to indicate and go. Um, a massive mistake people make, especially when they're learning, is to get in the car and they go, right, signal, and then they go, like, oh, clutch. What's One. the signal for? Well, that's the point, there's no point, but people do it now and everyone's waiting for you to go and you know where to go. So the signal is the second last thing you do. You yeah. signal, then you go. Signal, handbrake. So wait, P was pedal yep so you do pedals to begin with pedals and then you get them sorted and then yep. i was look yep. and then s was the signal yep. and then h what was that that handbrake so oh yeah prepare, then put the handbrake right down that's it pedals or prepare observe mm -hmm. signal and then handbrake. Okay. um there are times you don't do all that but that thing comes in later on the more we do because there's so much to learn you can't do it all in one okay, that's fine, yeah. so that's the full moving up procedure you can if you want look over that shoulder if you think there's any benefit like now there's a driver right there it's good to do it but if you think there's nothing there it's like a wall there's no way anyone could be there mm -hmm. then you don't need to the idea is that that corner there that side isn't that blind because as you look in your middle mirror you can see there about your peripheral vision whereas mm -hmm. I can see your blind spot if I look in the middle mirror I can actually see your blind spot at the corner of my eye whereas you can't because it's on your side yeah. so that's the minimum because people have different methods for this but the minimum is middle mirror right mirror right blind spot signal um, right let's give that a go so that's the main thing we're doing today it's just the whole moving off cool, so we go clutch down all the way over mm -hmm. into first and then a little bit of gas, but not too much. That's good. And then a little bit of clutch, but just very low on the clutch, so it barely pulls at all. That's it, there's clutch down, 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 much lower, much lower, lower, down, down. So your clutch got to be really, really low, because that's where that was before, it was way too high. It was so high, okay. it's kind of dragging. So about there's good. And just a little bit less gas. Low, I'm getting confused with high and low. So just down. Low is down, down, isn't it? That's it. Can you it's call it down? down? That's it, so gas off a little bit. That's it, about there. That's good about there. Yeah, the clutch is different to others because like more clutches up, whereas more brake is down. So it's different for different pedals. More but it's just all lower. So if you ever need your clutch lower, get it right down. But as it is now, that's good. It's okay. about the right place. So we do middle mirror, and then right mirror, and then right blind spot. Right blind spot. Yeah. Where's that? And right, just where I go. Just look so behind no one me. around. That's it. You don't have to indicate because no one's going to care. That man over yeah. there isn't even looking. And then it would be handbrake. Yep. Yeah. So handbrake drops. Gas and clutch really smooth. Just clutch up really slow. That's good. That's it. Now your clutch comes up all the way, right off. That's good. Then you just press a little bit of gas and you get a feel for the speed. You won't yeah. go very fast, but it's good. So I'll pull up on, pull us up on the left of me and just buy this long bit of curb. That's good. And keep so I've got to put the curve. Curve. No, no pedals for Let's keep really wide. If you get lots of turns to the right. That's good. And then left about now. Yeah, when we pull over for now, don't worry about the pedals, because I can do all those for now. Okay. Um, braking comes in next time, but if you go right quite a bit there, 
that's it, just hold them about there, that's good. And then have to lube it. You don't stop when you turn, you only have to turn tiny bits like that. You need like a tiny fraction okay. of a turn. If you turn too much, you'll get big, big kind of swings. Okay. So I'm just going to pull this up around there. When you first begin on there, a lot of things don't matter that they will later on. Like, for example, there, normally with a car coming towards you, what would you do when you pull up? Indicate. Yeah, but for now it doesn't matter because this road is dead and it's you know, obviously designed this. Well, this road isn't designed for learners, but you know what I mean. So yeah. we're doing it here today. Okay, so which two things did you say you had to do? And then I need to. Uh, back. Yeah, that's it. Where even that's is it? That's it? And then what else? So and then, I'll, I'll break and then, and then come off. That's good. Right, it can come off and then this can go into That's neutral. That's it. So you see your pedals are linked. Again, this will come in more next time, but your foot brake is linked to your handbrake. It isn't linked physically, but I mean, when your handbrake's done, your brake comes off. When okay. your gear's done, your clutch comes off. So it's like each one is related. That's the full moving up procedure then. So let's have a go on that. So what's the first thing you do? First thing I do is, um, Ham, just handbrake. No, that's last. P is pedals, yep, so that's it. clutch down. Yep, that's good. Clutch down and mm. accelerate it down. What did you do before bit. that? Oh, this. That's it. That's good. If you try and move it out of the gear, of course, you can't. Oh, just, yeah, sorry. So clutch, gear. That's good. Then my foot can go down a little bit. That's good. That there is good, no more, just that little bit okay. of gas. That's really good. Just try and get the clutch just in the right place so it's barely pulling at all. Um, so you're only going up a tiny little that's bit? That's about there, that's good. So okay. it's barely a paddle, but it's up enough. And then we'll come next. And then handbrake can oh, go Before down. that, right. before that, yes. A uh, signal? No, oh, before that. Well, sorry, I mean. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just, the yeah, right mirror. Middle mirror. Is it middle then right? So it's middle, right, and then where middle, else? Middle, right, blind spot. That's good. Do you need to indicate or not? No. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's good. So that van might not care because he's gone now, but that was good. If you were going to move off, then you would. So would anyone else care? Would anyone see it? No one's behind. Oh, there's someone coming behind. Good. So if you don't get a clutch down all the way, and the gas comes off all the way, the reason is if you leave your clutch set too long, it burns. The plates rub and rub and rub and they burn. Yeah. So you can only set it five to ten seconds ish. Um, because it's really cold and damp today, it's a little bit easier because it doesn't burn so bad as it would in hot weather in the summer. But you don't want the clutch up too long, too high. Okay. Okay, so when that one's passed from behind, we'll start doing the pedals again. So it's P, so a P. little bit of gas and clutch. And this is in one. Yep, that's good. And a little bit of that. Just clutch about there. That's good. That's it. And then the O. O is observation. Yep, the that's o. good. Da, da, and there. That's good. And do you need to signal or not? No. Nope. So, H, what's the H? That's good. Go down. That's great. So it's a very slight turn to the right. Clutch really slowly up. That's good. So it's the wind, I thought it was handbrake. It's a wind noise. So clutch of a tiny, just hold the wheel out there. Hold that's the it. clutch and where it is. Back. That's it. If you come off your pedals now, I'm just going to stop this car. That's right. For the moment, because we haven't done braking, it's awkward, yeah. but that car, that's right. So if you turn the wheel to the right now, about half a turn. Right. That's it. Just a little bit more. That's it. So that forward badge is exactly in the middle. That's it. And then right a tiny bit, like a quarter of a turn. That's it. So when you move that so much turn you need, just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm just going to stop us about there. Normally you wouldn't block someone's driveway, but for now we don't bother because okay. you're just practicing this. Okay, and then what would you do now when you stopped? You know, there's two things. Mm. Um, this goes to neutral. Before that. You can do that, but what comes before? Accelerator off. Before that. Handbrake. That's it. So it's handbrake's handbrake first and then handbrake's, handbrake's last and then handbrake's yeah. first. Because when okay. you pull off it's last because you've got to prepare all the car and then go. And then when you pull over you want to secure it yeah. as soon as you can. And then okay. back to neutral. Hmm? Okay, back into neutral. That's it. So let's have one more go at that. That's all I want to do is say. Just starting. A brief, yep, just a brief kind of intro to, okay. to driving around. Um, so. so goes clutch down. Yep, that's good. Accelerating. What comes before that though? There's one thing missing. That's it. That. Oh. That's the car before, don't worry about that. So, that gas is good. And then what comes next? And then, there, there, yeah, there. Yeah, that clutch is good because you did that just you were looking around, that's really good. And then, do you need to indicate? No, no it's no one behind us. Running. And what did you do? So you can break. Yep, yeah, that's good. Down. That's it. Then I take my clutch up yeah, a little bit. That's good. Really smooth. It's good to be checking again just in case anyone appears, but that's good. That's really good moving off the house and smooth. So your clutch now comes off all the way, so no clutch at all. That's good. Because when you've got moving, you don't need the clutch, it's just that nice kind of, kind of easy kind of roll. 
But yeah. if you've no pedals at all now, it's you notice again the way the car kind of rolls. So it's not me, that's just a car cruising. All cars should do this because you just take over and cruise at low speed. I'm just going to pull us over still down there. You won't get very far doing that, but that's not the point. It's just so you can sort of cruise and cruise and cruise. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, and then what then? And then you do handbrake's the first thing you do. Yeah. Up, mm. and then and then it's. Oh, I need an acronym for this. Handbrake, and then it's. Um, Ac acronyms are good, but if you get too many, they're confusing. <laughs> that's the thing with your Oh my god, what is it? Because if I lift my clutch out, it's going to stall. Oh, why is that? Oh, uh, you need to take your clutch off. No, if gear I, back to neutral. It. That's good. Because if you go, imagine you're not steering one, if I went clutch up, you'd start yeah, trying to move off. Yeah, that would be bad. Would be there, so you yeah. do that, and then you put your clutch down still, and you put it to neutral, yeah. and then you can take your clutch off. Yeah, that's and it. And then you can, you're done. Yeah, so that's, that's it. three. Yeah, so Top you can do this like in, in traffic. You don't normally, but you can wait in traffic and all this in neutral. Um, but yeah, I'll come in again later on. So that's really good. So, any questions on it so far? No, no. I was just remembering those four that's for it. the start and three for the second. There is a lot to remember to begin with, you won't remember everything from today, but if you do, you're doing well. Okay. The advantage of having it on the video is you can watch it back, <laughs> so it's a lot easier for you than some people. When will you put it on? Uh, it won't be just yet, but like you can, when, you, when it's on, you can see it, but um, I'll go over that with you in a moment. Okay. But for now, that's pretty good. So, all we're going to do is you press the power button just once. Turn off? Yep. That's it. That's all. So what I do, I'll drive you back home now, and um, I'll go over some of that stuff on the way back, and then we'll make a plan for next time. Okay. And we'll take it off mm -hmm. now. Okay. Right, let's swap over.